Hi, I'm Frederick Van Johnson, and I just wanted to record this quick video to let you guys know that um, I finally got authorization from the guys over at Connected Data to give away two of their transporter units. Now, I mentioned this a little bit on This Week in Photo before that we're going to be running this contest, and now it's happening. I got authorization to give them away. Now, I'm not giving these two away. These are mine. But I'm giving away the uh, I'm giving away two like this. So Connected Data, whoever wins this contest, will Connected Data will ship these to you directly. So quickly, what is the transporter? What is this crazy looking device? So what it is is the easiest way to think about it. I think is to look at it as a your own personal Dropbox, right? So everyone knows what generally everyone knows what Dropbox is. It's storage in the cloud that you drag and drop files on it and it's away from your computer and you can share those files with other people. This does the same thing, only with the added benefit of it lives in your house. So you plug this into your network back here through this Ethernet connection, give it some power, install the software, start drag and dropping files onto it. They're in the cloud. You can access them from wherever you happen to be. You don't have to be at this device. You can unplug your, you know, take your laptop out and still connect to the files that are on this. Really, really cool. But where it starts to get really interesting is when you take this device, which by the way, I mean, it looks cool like this, but it's very simple. You know, you take it off, there's the uh, there's a hard drive, a laptop hard drive inside of it, and uh, this kind of goes on the top. This ring here lights up to, it's kind of the indicator, it's the way the, the transporter lets you know what's going on with it. When all is good, it kind of glows green, when it's transferring data, it does different things. When something's wrong, like it can't get on the network for some reason or whatever, it turns red. So it's very high-tech looking. But like I was saying, where it gets interesting is when you introduce additional transporters into the mix. So why, does that, why is that interesting? So if I have this one, say, in my home office upstairs, and I take this one and I put it at a friend's house, all the data that I put on this one is replicated over here, right? And I can, of course, I can secure this so they can't see what my data is, or I can leave it open so we can share data back and forth. But the positive or the, the cool thing about that is if something happens to my house or somebody breaks in or something happens and this goes away, all my data is still over here. So I'm, I'm safe. Really starts to get interesting when you add multiple of these transporters to the mix. So say you're a business organization, so say like TWIP, like for example, we record This Week in Photo and there's a number of people that need access to the files after we record the show. So it's not just me, it's people that are writing show notes, there are people that are editing the show down, the, you know, all this stuff, all these different people that are all over the world <laughs> need access to the files after we record the show. So what we could do is we could outfit each one of them with a transporter now and once I finish I drag and drop the files onto this transporter and magically they just distribute out to everyone else's machine kinda of like what Dropbox does but the cool thing is when you think about it if when you use Dropbox for an implementation like that and you drag and drop files on there you're waiting until the file uploads to Dropbox when it's there, then you can let everyone know, hey, there's a new file there, go download it, or go to your Dropbox folder and pull it down. In this case, when I copy the file over to this, because it's local, it's on my local network, when I copy the file over to this, it zips over, it's on this, and then I can unplug, I can shut down my computer and take off and go about my day. Transporter is going to handle distributing that file out to whomever else has access to it. Of course, I can restrict access and say you can see it, you can't see it all this stuff. I can create folders on here that have individual access for different people or in different groups or just me, whatever I want to do. So it gives you this amazing level of sort of protected safety and the ability to share your files with whomever and whenever you know someone needs to access them. So that's what the transporter is. What's cool is, like I was saying, the Connected Data, Jeff Barrow is the guy behind Connected Data. If you've been watching TWIP for any length of time, you've seen it, seen me do an interview or heard the interview that I did with him um, when they were just getting started. If it was even before the, the, before the uh, Kickstarter campaign. But uh, Jeff said, you know, I was talking to him the other day, and he said, 
I was saying, well, I'd like to give one of these things away to the This Week in Photo listeners. And he said, sure, but why not give away two? So <laughs> I'm giving away two of these things. And what I thought, you know, I was thinking, yeah, I could, I could, I could get some mileage out of this. I could give away two in two separate contests. You know, I'll be a hero. But I thought, why not just give away both to one winner? So everything that I just talked about, where you can have one at your office and one at your home, you know, and, or one at your house and one at your dad's, wherever, you know, you can, uh, you'll be able to do this if you win this particular contest. Hopefully he'll authorize me to give away more in the future, but um, that's what we're doing right now. So anyway, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, go over to thisweekinphoto.com and just search for Transporter and you'll find the blog post with the entry for this. Um, hopefully the contest is still open by the time you watch this. But uh, if you're on the blog post right now, there's a form below this video that will allow you to enter the contest to, uh, to win these things. It's really easy. It takes two seconds. And we'll be announcing the winner. Hopefully, if all goes well, lightning doesn't strike. We'll be announcing the winner, winner on February 22nd or in the show that goes live Friday, February 22nd, 2013. So uh, check it out. Yeah, before, before you enter or after you enter, whenever, head over to connecteddata.com, look at their site, and see what they have going on with these, this first device out of the company. And then also head, check out their Kickstarter page. You can see how well it did and what are some of the comments and how people are getting really excited about this new way of sharing data. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to record this quick video to let you know that the contest is out and I'm giving two of these babies away. Connected Data will be shipping these directly to you. Not these, but ones very similar to, to my babies right here. Anyway, that's it. Hope you're having a great day and uh, see you on Twitter.